Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're at 26 dubs in a row. My lord. Starting with 2 HP, a chariot card, and a temperance card. I mean, time, 3, 2, 1, go. Why, why would you, you don't have to rush. You can just pop the chariot card whenever you please. That, that one is a little bit... <laughs> okay, it all worked out, but uh, yeah, should have thought that one through a little bit more, but hey, that's a pretty good turn of events right off the bat. We got an HP plus speed upgrade the seed, by the way. LRQV1 FK8. FK! Kaysen! Ah! How we doing? Uh, great. Doing, doing very well. Today is uh, Monday. Already gotten a lot of work done. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Like, okay, so I did a Trackmania Track of the Day video. It went well. It wasn't the best Trackmania Track of the Day we've ever had, but it was pretty good. Um, and then, you know, I recorded three Fall Guys episodes. Picked up four wins. Oh my god. Like, what, what happened? Did this guy, in an hour and 20 minutes of, of playing a Battle Royale, can pick up three solo dubs? Like, it's, it's a new era, and honestly, like, I'm a little afeard. I'm a little afeard for my safety. Because, like, at some point, there's going to be people knocking down my door. Coach me, coach me. No, I, I'm busy. I got, you know, we got a little one on the way. I can't coach you right now. I got to... I got my own stuff on the go. I apologize. Look, I'll give you this one for free. On obstacle courses, hold forward and jump whenever there's an obstacle that uh, hits you in the knees. That one's on the house. That one's for free. So, I, I, I'm not forgetting about the item room. And I see your comments. He's a $10 says he's going to forget about the item room. Well, all I'm going to say is people have made a lot of those bets in the past. And I ain't seen it. Well, I wouldn't say I haven't seen any of the uh, spoils. Because sometimes people go, five gift subs says he's going to blah blah. And then when I don't blah blah, they actually, they're, they're good for their word. Which, you don't have to honor that deal. I understand that, like, ten bucks says, you know, XYZ is mostly just a colloquialism. Um, as of right now, we only have a couple of choices for what to do. I want to reroll. I actually think it's worth buying a bomb to get a reroll. Because it'll probably be several rerolls. And it's really like, a, we have to spend a key as well to do it, which is a little spicy, admittedly. Um... But I do think it's worth it, because the magnet is just not that spectacular. This could blow up in our face, pun intended. Uh, it didn't. I, I, I don't mind uh, this. The, the damage down is really bad. Uh, but the odds are... I guess we will hold it. The odds are that uh, the rate of fire... I mean, uh, not even odds, okay? I'll just say it. I value having a great rate of fire more than I value having a great damage stat. There are exceptions to the rule. You can get into, like, extreme territory, like, you know, soy milk, incredibly bad damage. But in that case, it's not even just the rate of fire from soy milk. It's the, the knockback that makes enemies so annoying to kill. Um, but we, we got a lot of stuff working out in our favor right now. A, a big thing, I would say, is actually... Ooh, Counterfeit Penny. Uh, Counterfeit Penny gives us much, much, much better optics when it comes to, you know, our shops in the future. That one didn't work out for us, but that's okay. We got a deal with the Devil Chance. We got one and one half. No, we have one and one and one half. One Red Heart, one and a half Spirit Hearts right now. And truth be told, our damage is bad in absolute terms. But in relative terms for where we're at in the game, it's actually... I mean, it's bad, don't get me wrong. But our, our rate of fire... It's tough to say it more than compensates for it. But it's definitely not as bad as I think you might just think it is by looking at it. And I do not mind doing this room. We also do have RoboBaby 2.0. And, you know, I'll be the first to tell you RoboBaby 2.0 is not a, uh, a life-changing item. But this might be one of the very, very few situations in which you would actually look at it as, like, potentially being extremely helpful. Might even do more damage than we do right now. Let's get it in sync with us again. So we're ready to go here. I mean, Robo Baby uh, 2.0 just absolutely shreds Larry Jr. But I'm, I'm trying not to use it like Blue Baby's only friend, because I think it's only going to get us into, into trouble there. But, the, dude, look at the shooting. Look at the... What an item, what a night. Okay. Good work, good work. We do have an item room. 
It's a very important situation to not take damage on. Things are slightly precious here. Um, this is pretty bad. <laughs> but it's alright. We're not making it on that one. We wait it out. There you go. And the shop is all important right now. That that dime from the, the mob trap room is going to help us get ahead. The dream would be like champion belt. That would, that would be an item that would fit us quite nicely right now. Instead, um, I, we, we certainly could not in good conscience look at the mom's bottle of pills and be like, Hey, you know what's bad? One pill. You know what's great? Uh, infinity pills. No, thank you. We, we will be saying no to that for the time being. And if these are tiers upgrades, so be it. The other thing about having a great rate of fire, dude, is that it's just like... When you have a great rate of fire, it's so much easier to do these little things right. Because instead of it taking 10 minutes to shoot all the poops in a room, it takes 10 seconds. Yeah, that's right. It gets 60 times faster. I'm not going to defend myself. You defend yourself. Okay, so Glaucoma has created some confusion both uh, by me and for me. But, you know, we've already fought a monstro on this floor. We ain't sweating it too bad. He's just, like, permanently confused, huh? It is nice, I guess, if there's no cooldown on the on the Glaucoma tiers. I think we don't take it yet. Um, it's, it's a hot one. Don't get me wrong. I like Book of Sin. But I think we do take this. We could, in theory, try the uh, the pill, and, and we could have seen before if it was going to be a... Uh, if it was going to be, like, a health upgrade as a result of us being at zero. But we're not going to do that, and we're, we're going to take our leverage here uh, with our newfound HP and try this out. I'm gonna give you one more. I know you. I know you're not gonna hurt me on this one. You're not gonna hurt me on this one. We lived, okay. I, I had a feeling we were safe because I know we just picked up some spirit hearts, but we did lose a half a spirit heart on the way in. We probably lost a spirit heart from the the way that we played that room, but we made it out anyway. Do we have a spirit heart for sale in here? No, no, no. I, I would honestly say that that tends to be worth it, um, and we're not gonna play it on this floor just because. You know, we don't know what our HP looks like. It must be two, because we're full now, but um, get me out of here. That, that was slightly spicy. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, 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 it was slightly spicy. That's that's fair. Um, I think we don't do any tough rooms for the time being. I think you just try to chill out for a minute here. Because this is way spookier than I would have thought. And your, your 1.77 damage only goes so far uh, once you get a little deeper into the game. You know what I mean? So we got to try to get these guys to bite, and then we can... There you go. Then you can make bigger move. Really, all we're looking for right now is spirit hearts, which means all we're looking for is our shop. Still really, like, heavily relying on Robo Baby 2.0, which is pretty pretty comical. This has now become a very interesting run. Big move. Big move. Temperance is, is mighty tempting, because of course if we get a, a blood bag, this is, you know, all over and done with. Um, I guess there's no reason for us not to use a temperance as early as possible, because we're not... There's no, like, HP effects that we would be taking advantage of. By that I just mean, like... You know, it's not like we we get extra plays if we have more. I mean, we do get extra plays if we have more hearts, but it's not like every play is worth more or less. Um, definitely not interested in that. This is the and, and I'm not really nervous, honestly, about our about our ability to control this one right now. Damage is definitely in a a, a really bad position, and they they almost trip me up there. For sure, but the the bigger deal here is, uh, you know, if we can just get to this shop, the world is is the world is ours. Especially if it has a reroll machine on it. Two bombs, very nice as well. Bit of a spicy room. 
Try to try to activate Robo Baby 2.0. Get Robo Baby 2.0 in on this one. Good work, good work. I mean, I, I think now we kind of have to throw it down, pick it up. Throw it down, pick it up. Now don't engage. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Are there any spikes on the way back? No spikes. So we're gonna do something pretty simple here. And it, uh, if you said throw it down and pick it up, you're absolutely right. Gotta check. All right. This is an example of like, you know, I think what we're doing right now, we're not coasting, we're driving. You gotta do, you know, when you're driving, is driving hard? I mean, I would say, honestly, it depends on how you want to use the term hard. Once you've done it for a while, it's second nature, but you still gotta pay attention. Um, but, you know, to learn it from scratch, yeah. Driving is not an easy skill, necessarily. That was hugely lucky. Um, you know what? This is a robo-baby situation for sure. So all I mean by this is that I think it's of the utmost importance that we play our cards exactly correctly. We, we do things the way we wish to do them. A power pill is insanely good. Verp power pill is also insanely good. Um, okay, so just work with me here momentarily. Because this, again, it's driving. You can't just mindlessly do whatever you want to do. That's also very nice. In fact, we'll play this right out the gates. We've spent our money on this floor, and we're going to get more. But I'd really, really like you to just hook me up. Oh, man, but come on. You're going to give me some HP here. You know it's true, and I know it's true. That's helpful. We might as well do it like this to start with. Really? Come on, buddy. Come on. You know you want a slice. Or you want to give me a slice. Bro, that's terrible news. <laughs> that's that's truly horrible news. <laughs> um, but remember, power pill doesn't change verp as well. Or let me rephrase: power pill doesn't change IV bag is what I meant to say. And it wait, hold on, is this another verp pill in here? Then let me think about this for a moment. No, no, no. I don't know why I thought that honestly. Um. So we want to use this money to get HP from the Judgment. And presumably, we're, we got to be knocking on the door. So we're going to verp the power pill. I'm glad we got one last squeeze out of that one. Okay, we're back to 15 cents. Come on. There's no way. There's no way you're not going to hook me up with another 15 cents. And you know what? It's worth it. Like... <laughs> Yeah, whatever it costs, it's it's okay. Um, now, we could take the IV bag back. And then try to get double plays out of the IV bag and the, uh, and the blood bank. But we don't really... I mean, the risk involved is only moderate. And the reward, who knows, you know? If we get blood bag, we'd be stoked, but... I think we'd, we we need to explore the rest of this floor anyway. I'll just level with you. This is looking like one of those Isaac runs that's going to be a little bit on the longer side. Um, mostly, again, because our damage stat is 1.77 or whatever. Okay, Confusion. I think, it, I think it works to our advantage here. Trying to get Robo Baby activated if possible. You almost got me, you son of a gun. You almost you almost had me trapped. We were in a, a chess endgame there. That, I, I mean, I just shouldn't have stood still. I got caught flat-footed. Juice box. And no deal with the devil. We aren't, we aren't sweating it. Juice box was a really nice damage up. Um, no doubt about that. We have an IV bag in here. Um, I honestly, with, with the money that we presently have, I would think to myself that a card could be... Very, very useful. And we could actually use that to get out of probably the mob trap room right now. 
If we could maybe get a deal with the devil or uh, some spirit hearts in the mob trap room, I'd be pretty stoked. That's a bad start. That's a bad start. I mean, we might as well ice you. Maybe we don't even need to use the fool. We could use it to get out of the curse room instead. Two pills is pretty sick. That's that's along the lines of what we're going to be looking for now that we have PhD. And in hindsight, you know, it would have been pretty sick as well to get uh, mom's bottle of pills. But we didn't know PhD was coming, so... I'm not going to beat myself up over that one. I think we've honestly... If you look at the way we've played this run, I think we played it right. Maybe uh, some other people wouldn't have done the demon judgment thing that we did on that uh, on the last floor. One makes you larger and a speed up. So the speed up is, is worth the trouble. But I, I really genuinely think that we've played this one pretty appropriately. And we're just we're squeezing blood from a stone, you know? I don't, I don't even think it's a bad seed. But I think it is just... Get me out. I just, we, we gotta rethink it. I think it's a seed we're not a, a huge fan of. Right out of the gates. I, that Honestly, I'm just going to call it. I think that's one of the best fool cards I've used in my life. <laughs> Robo Baby 2.0 was pogging up, and I was getting a little scared. I think that was a very, very smart usage. Now, I just wish there was a reliable source of renewable red hearts on this floor somewhere. I think we'd take it. I, you know, the blessing of Sinvicta... I think this is the item we want in this situation. So, it, sadly, I do not think we have the capacity uh, to go with... Um, the health capacity, I should say, to go to the curse room. If we just had any means to kind of get ourselves out of this... It would be a difference... To, well, you know what? We do have three cent hearts. I think it's our last kind of gasp here. And I know you're like, use IV bag to make it work. I don't trust it. So we'll take the luck upgrade. This has been a long floor, but I really think we got from this floor... Well, we could have gone to the curse room instead of playing the blood bank two times. But apart from that, I think we, we did what was necessary. To, to succeed on this floor. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, honestly. We're leaving behind a one makes you larger pill. And the IV bag, which we don't want anyway. The only thing I would say is we could blow this up. Uh, and then if we got HP, use the blood bag. But I, I'm not really sweating that. I'd rather keep my bomb in case we find an early tinted rock. Flooded caves. Really should be called the uh, spicy caves. Because the spice level is very high. We're in the, the hundreds of thousands of Scovilles. Maybe not millions yet. We might not be at, at ghost pepper level. But we're at like quite a potent jalapeno. And don't... I, I understand if you're a spice head. You're like, oh, jalapeno is not actually spicy. Most of the time you're right. But sometimes, oh man, you can get one that, that rattles your chains. So again, I think this is just driving. I think the metaphor holds. What does it mean that it's just driving? You want to pay attention. I don't trust anybody who's like driving so easy I don't even pay attention anymore. That scares the crap out of me, dude. We're just waiting. Like, we're going to get our break at some point here. The break is coming. Actually, you know, we, we could even hit a break if we just got a uh, fortune teller in here. That's all we need. Dude, that's a big break as far as bombs go. No fortune teller. I'm trying to think. Um, that was insanely lucky. Um, the smart play. First off, the smart play was to drop a bomb there. Things were getting a little touchy. <laughs> no greed. No greed. No greed. Okay, this is good stuff. Um, we need the spirit heart. Mom's key is like a gimme. We need the spirit heart. Yes, yes, yes. Blow this up for a little extra cash if possible. Okay, we're one away from buying another item. It will not be the broken remote. And this is where... We start to pilot. Previously, we've been at cruising altitude. Now we gotta make some maneuvers to get around a hurricane, okay? So th this item room is the weather report. Let's see what we got. Uh, it honestly, it looks like clear skies. Or at least the, the weather should clear up shortly. I don't know, the metaphor's kind of falling apart. Mom transformation we do not care for much. Uh, but, but this arcade all of a sudden becomes very, very important. 
This is a secret room which will give us access to the uh, curse room. I mean, dude, can I tell you? It feels nice to kind of be Isaac activated. By which I just mean that, like... Oh, that hurt. Um, I, I just mean that, uh, like, we, we've not really had to play great Isaac in order to be given greatness. Whereas on this run, I mean, we, we've had to... We've had to pog up. And I'm super happy we have, because it feels nice. Now, this run is still very much... <laughs> still very much in question. I love that. I love that we got that demon judgment there. So how are we approaching this? Money is no object for us. So we're going to play this. And really, our, our big goal... Because we know our shop's tapped here. Our big goal is... Um, Hearts. We just want to get hearts paid out. I'll, I'll take as long as we need to take. The more hearts we get, the more reliably we can play this Demon Judgment. The, the, the short circuit here, if you wanted to, is to just blow things up. Now, honestly, I'm not that salty we blew up the Blood Bank. Ad admittedly, it's kind of a, an integral part of an arcade like this, but... I kind of like what we got going on here. And again, the money the money is pretty much useless to me. Because um, we, we get so much of it that... we Like, even if we got the dollar, I would just be annoyed we didn't get more hearts in the process. I'm starting to get modestly annoyed, sure. It's a vert pill. I'm trying to think of... I think the last thing we used is a speed up. I think this is a situation where we could save vert for something a little bit more... Um, a little bit more interesting. Than just getting another speed up pill. Okay, and then, I mean, I'm going to tell you, this, this is how the show's going to run for a minute here. I don't think we should do it just yet. Let, let's pick up the full heart, because we know we're going to get something paid out in just a split second here. And we got HP available elsewhere on the floor as well. This could give us access to the boss trap room as well. The real question is whether or not we even want to go to the boss trap room. Bad gas? No, thank you. So we'll hit him with two more. Gotta be real cautious with that one. Um, I want to go take a look inside of the boss trap room just to see if there's an item of some repute. Yeah, you shouldn't have picked that up then. <laughs> it's gonna make it a little harder to get inside of the room. And, you know, as Derek Zoolander famously said, how are we supposed to teach children how to read if they can't even fit inside of the building? But dude, I gotta tell you, I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm switched on on this run. If I could give one actionable piece of feedback, like like what's costing us on this run, it's in a huge way, it's a uh, small odd mushroom. Now, would I would I go back in time and what a tale my thoughts would tell? No, I think I would I think I would do the same thing, quite frankly, because I I think the rate of fire is extremely valuable, and uh, you know it. I still think we're in a very good spot. It's just a little bit longer. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's not fair. We are now at unfair status. <laughs> Verp. One makes you larger. All right, this is no good. In case you're curious how I feel about this one. <laughs> Things went very wrong very quickly. So what's the next step? I'm not... I, I got over my anxiety. We stand back because we don't want to get killed by uh, this guy. Play this instead. One at a time, we blow these up to look for red hearts. Stem cells is renewable HP at times. I think for now, we, st we stick with what we got. I know it seems spiced. I mean, this, this run's throwing it all at us. Did we get a little spooked there? Yeah, but we, we had outs. I didn't do that without outs. I wouldn't do that without outs. Now, two, uh, three red chests on the uh, boss trap room has got me tickled, you know? I, I do want to check it out, but I kind of want, you know, some kind of fail safe in there. Now, if there was ever a run... Forgive my entitledness. If there was ever a run... Where we deserved like a mom's knife situation. It's uh it's right now. <laughs> we're we're really out here grinding. 
We're doing, I wouldn't say everything right, but we're, we're trying to do as many of the little things right as possible. Um, I love that there is a battery charge there. We still have a 23% shot at this devil deal. And uh, I don't want to use too many bombs. But I do want to finish this, you know, without losing my sanity. So you could do worse than kicking maybe like three or four bombs in there. You know, it's like Kanye West said on his song The Good Life featuring Teddy Payne. Um, having bombs ain't everything. Not having them is. As long as you have enough bombs to access Tinted Rocks that no longer exist apparently on this run. Everything's kind of going in according to plan. So we didn't get a devil deal, which is frustrating, but also understandable because we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into. And we're still playing this guy. We want to give you two more. It's fine. It's actually still fine. Am I starting to get modestly tolted? Sure, I would say there is a modest degree of tilt happening. Where's the tilt coming from? Well, we really are leveraging everything we've got. And it's good, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the speed, but it's not really what we were looking for specifically. Um, that's already busted, huh? And we're kind of like one shop reroll machine. This run looks so different. Uh, and I, I will not be going to the boss trap room because it requires hurting myself to get there. We will just be tackling the next floor as it comes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not upset, I'm not upset. You know, we're still, we still we got something out of that floor. We got a little closer to spun. This floor is for all the Marbies. Kind of, you know, you're, you're camping that button like the killer in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Skirt. Had to pick our moment there. Okay, Robo Baby 2.0. This you you got major potential here if you could just take one shot at that enemy at any given point. And they, like, what a floor, right? Like, this is gonna be. This is what you want. You want the game on your stick when you got a couple of minutes left. You know, some people don't want to go on. They say, Coach, don't put me on. I can't take the pressure. I say, Coach, I'm ready. You try to box me in, I'm gonna box you out. You try to box me in, I'm gonna box you out. The the hard part right now is we gotta maintain our deal with the devil chance, which means we could use our bombs to like blow up skulls uh, and, and hope that that works out well for us. But honestly, that's the only one that I feel confident in right there. And we're looking for the gaz, maybe? I mean, what can you say? That's <laughs> that's not luck. When, when you sift through uh, Alaskan dirt and you pull out a couple of... You know, gold flakes? Is that luck or is that, uh, is that labor? I call it labor here. And this is, this is Isaac, baby. This is what it's all about. These are the runs you gotta be able to squeeze if you don't want to lose a streak. Now don't throw, we've, we've had a tendency to throw our spirit hearts away after we get them. We're not gonna do that this time. This is really, like, this could be the last floor. So enjoy it. This could be the last floor where we struggle. Now, that could mean that we die. If you take it the wrong way. Or alternatively, it could mean that we're about to pog up with reckless abandon. Because all we really need is a devil deal. No more hands. If we get a devil deal and it has a damage upgrade, or it turns us into guppy, this one's pretty much in the books. A, an amazing defensive item. Like, you know what's been popping up in the item pool a lot recently is Abaddon. Abaddon will go a long way today uh, towards helping us out. No doubt about that. Just got to be quick on that one. And quick we were. And I'll tell you, thanks to the XL floor, we're not actually, like, that slow today. Just want Robo Baby to finish this because the knockback can be a little spicy there. Not sweating the keys in the least. Okay, we, we've let this arena get taken away from us. Okay? You get, get hit once by a fly, that's alright. We were making a big move there. We understand how that can happen. You know what would crush in the shop? Hive Mind. Hive Mind would absolutely friggin' kill, dude. Oh, where did you come from? What, what a room, though? 
And the idea is, like, if you make it through this room without getting hit, you probably got yourself pogged up to oblivion, you know? Because you, you got maybe a spirit heart available. No greed. It just would beg you for no greed here. Okay. That's, that's not anything special. That is. That is potentially something special. There's no greed. Um... You got to work with me on this one, okay? So step one is this. Because we, we want multiple things here. This this is going to be known. You've, you've heard of the pot play. This is going to be the shop play. First step. You buy dice shard. You drop it out here. You pick this up. You grab the D1. You double the dice shard. You grab Guppy's head. You take the dice shard in here. It gives you host hat, which is good enough to take. Then, you take the dice shard in here. You grab this, because you want it. Then you dice shard these items, because you don't respect them. What do you do after that? We have to think carefully here. Starter deck means no more pills, which is kind of spicy. So I think we try this first. It's Ace of Clubs. We definitely want the Spirit Hearts. We may, in the future, wish to go with... Um, With starter deck, just because, you know, it's... I mean, let's be realistic, it's not like pills have done that much for us lately. We need some bombs, then we can get over there. But that was that was a large swing. You know, host hat is good. Host hat is... That's, that's great eats. We can't rely on our deal with the devil, because there's a pretty realistic chance that our deal with the devil just hooks us up with uh, Krampus. <laughs> I, would, I would rather not, but it is what it is, you know? We need some bombs to get over there. We should have used the Ace of uh, Clubs. That's that's for certain. But can we at least get some approval that we're trying to do the little things right today? We, we have immunity to explosions. So the, all we want to do is stay far away from taking contact damage. If we can do that, everything's okay. Dude, how about that timing? Those are two Vert Pills. Vert pills are, like, the thing is, they're useless unless they're not. If we get, like, an incredibly good pill, we'll be happy we didn't turn two vert pills into, uh, essentially nothing. So we, we got into the safe spot here. Now you just double up. We are getting twisted up by the matrix multiplication. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Great stuff. I hate to do that because we only got one bomb. <laughs> we need two bombs, so you don't have enough, dude. I can't remember the last pill I used, but it couldn't have been that good because I was holding a vert previously as well. Take your moment. Take your moment. The moment is being took right now. Oh, I love I love confusion here. Beautiful. Beautiful room. You're done. You're done. Just get out of here. You're done too. Robo Baby, this you, Robo Baby feasts in these situations. If I could get it to reliably shoot. Honestly, I mean, I was gonna say we could turn that into bombs, but yeah, using what uh, using what card? Beautiful. Okay. Now we go back. Dude, I'm I'm telling you, I don't know if I've ever had a, a run like this before, where I feel like we're just constantly and this is spicy, but we got enough bombs to do it. Wow, I'm, I'm a little surprised, for sure. I'm just constantly under tension, you know? Like, we're, we're in a run that is just never-ending tension. And I kind of like it. Usually, Isaac, you know, it, it peaks at some point, and then the tension kind of gets unfurled. I got I to gotta pick it up to get through. So, I, you know what? I've chosen to pick it up. I have made my choice. I feel like there's a good play in here, but we don't have the bombs for it. I was like, if we blow up enough stuff, we're going to find a demon heart, and then we can just use the D1 and keep milling. I don't know what our odds are better for, though. It's either that or, like, verping a good pill. We love this. Although, you know, to be honest, might be better off using um, the D1 with those charges. Appreciate bomb bag. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate you. What a shot. What a shot. 
Now, uh, you know what? I'm Bob's brain, I'm realizing. We shouldn't have even questioned whether or not we wanted it. Of course we want it. We have host head for, for immunity to explosions. Now, I don't think we should just run in there anyway, because uh, it, it might knock some enemies around, and they might run into us, but... For now, we live with this. You think there could be... I can't remember if we came down here with more than five cents, because it was ten years ago that we originally made it down here. Um... So if there's if there's an arcade chance, we got a real blood bag chance, and uh, I would I would not turn up my nose at a chance to get uh, the blood bag here. Keep moving on. So few consumables dropping, man. Or have we just been using too many? I can't believe, by the way, we still got our deal with the devil chance after after everything we've been through on this floor. Oh, baby, these bombs, these bombs are going to be worth a ton in the future. Now, our orbital, it's a little late, without a doubt. And we'd much rather just get stats, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. I walked into it, but host hat saved me. Thank you, host hat. Good fight. HP exists. All right, dude, why do I feel like we're on, like, void? <laughs> we're getting ready to fight Delirium. Just an endless wave. Okay, we got you. You guys are both concussed, which is fantastic news for us. Should be toasted. The pill is power pill. Power pill! You know, we, we can use it on this room. Um... It's not, I mean, it's a good thing to have in the hopper for if we get more verps, but it's not the kind of thing we're like, oh, let's run back and use verp. Maybe if we got some uh, arcades, some blood banks, we'd reconsider, but. That was good stuff. All right. Now we can, it, it's a really, it's a tougher choice than you might believe. Yep, we should have, should have power pilled there, but you know what? Good, good aggression to make it through after things got spiced. Um. I was gonna say, we, we can suck up the D1. That's in the good pill rotation, just, just so you know. We could suck up the D1 for stats. I guess all I'm saying is like, there might be a world in which the D1 is bet okay. Is better to just hold, and then we suck up Guppy's head. Um, like, I'm just running it through. I'm like, if there's a battery charge on the shop, <laughs> then we can battery charge the... There's no battery charge on the shop. There's no battery charge anywhere. Okay. There is verp. Because I was like, we could use... No, I, honestly, I think you stick with Guppy's head. We got a range upgrade. Oh, excuse me. One moment, please. And we're back. Still rolling. In a, in a, in a very, very difficult uh, Isaac run that honestly I feel like we've done a really good job on. We now have a little bit of a luxury. We got the ability to... Oh, that's so good, dude. We had the ability to spend some bombs. We definitely do not want Verp if we could instead hold Emperor. And then I, the only other thing I would say is like maybe, and there's so many places where it could be second secret room wise. Like that's low percentage for sure. Maybe it's, we, we can afford to spend a few bombs searching. Obviously we don't want to spend too many because um, we, we have bomb bag, but we the more bombs we have for the next floor, the happier we are. So honestly, I think we're I think we're moving on. The deal with the devil is like non comp or what's the opposite? It's non non optional. Yeah, it's mandatory. It's compulsory. It's it's all those scary words. It's a core class. It's a it's a mandatory credit to get your degree. The magician, by the way. Doing great. Oh, we'd love to, like, Mom's Contact landing a freeze, followed by 
us being able to get in there with the orbital is the dream come true. But, dude, that was a very easy fight. Appreciate the spirit heart. Kind of making me wish I took the D1. What an interesting scenario we have here. <laughs> we definitely... We definitely want to go for it. We're going to get some sick invincibility. Okay, it's not an item we really like. But if we're going to take one, we're going to take both. For certain. And it doesn't matter the order. So Gimpy is good. Very good even. And then of course Guppy takes us one step closer to becoming Guppy. And then if we could just beat the odds. Who knows, man. Beat the odds on this floor. It's a great time to have the Emperor card, because, uh... Oh, it's a Tinted Rock, too, dude. Uh, but it's a great time to have the Emperor card, because we don't know where we're going anyway. Another Spirit Heart and Bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, I'm not quite calling it yet. <laughs> but I'm starting to feel like calling it. I definitely think we should take Headless Horse, or White, White Pony, I should say, over, um... Over Guppy's head here, but we did beat the odds. We got Krampus, but that's okay. We'd still, we'd love Lump of Coal. It's a good choice. And I think you gotta take White Pony here. No disrespect to Guppy's head, which has done, you know, good work for us and has kept us in the mix here for a long time, no doubt about it. But uh, this, this is a fairly easy choice, quite frankly. What the heck is going on here? We love the chariot. No doubt about that. I think we would have been fine on this. This room looks weird to me. I'm like, have we ever seen this before? I think this is now the point in the game where we use every single tool in the toolbox. Am I willing to sack a spirit heart in order to try to become guppy? Yes. Um, and we, we broke even. Minimum. So that's totally fine. Another power pill is actually pretty sick as well. Oh, I'm not using it on this room, I'll tell you that much. And the momentum is just like seeping out of my pores. There, I don't know if we've ever deserved a win. Well, yeah, no, this is not the hardest win we'll have ever gotten. Because, like, for the whole run here, we were pretty much convinced that we had it sewn up. It was just a matter of, like, when it was going to come to pass. On this one, um... You know, it, we, we, it's maybe the best. Yeah, we definitely want that. Slash definitely the best over the course of this new streak. And it, honestly, it was really refreshing. I'm talking like it's over just because it... I mean, it, it kind of is. I don't, I don't like that confused eyeball, dude. Unless it never shoots. It's scaring the crap out of me there. Um, no tinted rocks, I think. Um, but it, it's been refreshing to have like a, a real... like genuinely challenging Isaac run that forced us to play on our A game for like almost the entire thing. You might even say the entire thing because who knows what the chest is going to be like. But I'll tell you. While we are on... Uh, oh, no thank you, sir. <laughs> no thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. We will be uh, engaging in cowardice and staying far away. They're, honestly... I took a brain shortcut on that one. I said to myself, we're probably not going to get tagged if we just spam the uh, move button. It didn't work that way. That's okay. We're not... Oh my god. Oh my god. We're not too far away from genuinely being in a little bit of danger. So you definitely want to just keep it steady. And remember, like when you're on a room you don't like, just bomb your way out. You know, we, we got nothing to prove to nobody. I'm drowsy is a good pill, actually. We, we can hold one of those. Like here? I'm not doing this room. You, you must have lost your mind. Now, I was hoping maybe you'd blow the door up for me, but... Now, this room? Where we got 13 bombs? Uh, you, we've waited too long. <laughs> we have waited too long to make a decision. Our damage is still 2.85, so we, you know, it's not like we're we're rolling uh, out of control here. It's a room where, quite honestly, if you press the space bar, you get it done. We're happy to be there. Generating some sex spiders, some sex spiders. 
Uh, didn't even see you there because you had turned invisible due to the dimness, which is, you know, it's on me for not paying attention to that. Very good luck on these uh, blue fires, though. I mean, this is what you gotta do. I'm just here to tell you. I think this might be, like, the least amount of, um, of tinted rocks I've seen in an episode of Isaac in, like, five years. I really think the difference between, like, an easy win and a tough win on this one... And we're in the tough win timeline right now. But the difference between an easy win and a tough win on this one, thus far, is the, the prevalence of Tinted Rocks. We spent so much time and, and squandered a, a deal with the devil that should have been, like, a 72% chance or something. Just because of the fact that we couldn't seem to get a spirit. Our shops were unkind for a while. We had so much money, but our shops were unkind. We're still going. We're still going on this. This is why we got the bombs to begin with. Kind of wish we did that other room now <laughs> so we'd have access to our uh, white pony, but that's okay. That's okay. Surely at some point in our in our future, there's a damage upgrade. Are we really still... Oh, that would have been a great guppy, dude. Are we really still rolling, like, juice box? It's a little stunning, right? That that our damage stat is essentially 100% tied to a single item. Can't believe we didn't get hit there. Um, I did think about popping I'm Drowsy, but by the time we were, you know, thinking about popping it, we'd already pretty much taken out the boss here, so... We got a low percentage chance of minding, quite frankly. And who would have thought 43 minutes into this run we'd still be like, Hey, Robo Baby, get involved. Who would have thought? Not me. Either way. Starting to come around the mountain on this one. This would be a very good time to get, like... I mean, some mapping on the chest would raise our chances. Uh, teleporting directly to the boss room would raise our... Okay, getting hit twice on the final wave there will not raise our chances. We do have nine lives, though, so don't get it too twisted. Alright, let's see what we got. I really appreciate both Mini Monstro and, and Deadshot here. Both of which are actually, like... This... I, I never thought I would see a damage stat of five. <laughs> we've we've entered a new era and with our rate of fire it builds super quickly as well this this is actually really nice okay still not insanely fast but oh dude epiphora kind of works well with us as well it busts the tier cap like wide open right i think it does it does indeed so if we can just shoot to the left only for the entirety of this floor we're going to be a, fo a force to be reckoned with. We're like the anti Derek Zoolander. Ah, be careful. Don't get caught in the death animation. Don't rush me, dude, because now I got to get you to come over here so then I can do this. Why would you? Okay, the meme has gone too far. The meme has gone too far. Thank you for the two spirit hearts. Well, honestly, we should have tried to kill uh, Lust last, because getting spun on this one would be would be extremely nice. But it is what it is. Tell me this is the right way. It's the wrong way. Don't forget to use a little uh, Mini Monstro access. Although, we, Mini Monstro cannibalizes Epiphora. We lose our rate of fire if we release the fire rate button, I think. Or the, the you know, shoot button, which is what I just did anyway. But... Okay, it's a dead end. That's all right. It's a dead end. We don't sweat the dead ends because we're having a fun time playing Isaac. And genuinely today, I am having a fun time playing Isaac. Like this was a, this one was a chance to flex a little Isaac muscle I haven't used in a long while. Uh, that was a really bad time to play chicken. I'm glad we got out of there. Little light on the banter, but that's that's how she goes, lads. At this point, we're, we're probably saving... Um, we're probably saving I'm Drowsy for the Isaac fight, but there, there's some rooms that, that could cause you some trouble in the interim period for sure. Come on, we're just looking for like a single 
A single booger tier would pretty much ruin your life. Yo. Yo, I'm a fire and a laser. Honestly, our damage stat is so bad. I, I think I could be persuaded to try to use I'm a fire and a laser. I have no idea whether that's better or worse. But it is more frequently usable and less luck driven than uh, White Pony, so sure. But at the time, it's kind of, you know, is long gone for analysis, you know? If I have one regret on this run, I'll tell you. And it's hard for me to remember because it was so long ago. But if I have one regret on this run, it's not dodging right there. No, if I have one regret on this run, it's that I wish I had re-rolled Skinny Odd Mushroom. In hindsight, the question is less, is Skinny Odd Mushroom takeable? And more... With a reroll machine, does that change things? And in some situations, uh, you know, it, it might not be in your list of things, but in our situation here, I think we definitely would have been better off having, you know, I don't want to say pretty much any other item, but we might have even been better off taking nothing. Didn't see that. I mean, it's Dead End City. Also known as uh, Dayton, Ohio. Sorry, there's always got to be a butt to that joke, okay? I apologize. Next time I'll use Sioux City, Iowa. Or Hamilton, Ontario. I apologize. I apologize. There's always got to be a butt to that joke. Don't get a, if people get offended by that. Then, you know, behind closed doors they make jokes about Vancouver constantly. I hear you. I, I hear it all. Then you, you feign offense when it's at your expense. I see your true colors shining through. Cindy Lauper. I don't think that's what the song was about. But, you know, that's the beauty of art. You can apply it to multiple different axes. Whether the artist agrees with you or not. So those are verp pills. I'm like, dude, if those are power pill... No, it would... No, they are power pills. I think I'd rather have power pill than I'm drowsy. Just try to get the orbital and the knife in there if possible. Alright, who would have thought? Everything came together to make this run doable. And at 48 minutes, we're going to get the heck out of Dodge. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. That's one of the most exciting runs we've had in a while. 27 wins in a row, and I'll see you next time. See ya!